What's going on guys? Jeremy here with Gun Mag Warehouse. And today I have the SIG MCX Rattler. Okay, this one is a little bit special. You can't get this one off the shelf because it's got a little fun switch on it. But I believe that this is potentially the best backpack gun you can possibly get, at least right now. So let's go ahead and get after it and shoot it right now. So this SIG MCX Rattler has a five and a half inch barrel and it's shooting 300 blackout. Now I believe this to be potentially the best backpack gun you can possibly get, especially whenever you swing out that stock right there and be able to really get a firm placement. Now yours is gonna have a brace and for all I know, since we can just change definitions around all we want, that brace might as well be a stock as far as the ATF is concerned. So if you wanted to, you could just take that thing off and keep it right here as a pistol. Uh, and it would be really easy to control still. Now, not as safe and easy to control since they really don't want you to be safe with firearms anyway, uh, but that's a whole different conversation there. Uh, but otherwise, 300 blackout, not some puny pistol caliber, okay? Don't want any of that. We want some of that heavy duty 300 blackout, that 30 caliber round. Now this isn't mine. And like I said, it's got that full auto switch. It's a friend of mine, his name's Jack. Jack, come on over here. What's going on, brother? Going good, going yeah. good. So he converted this to a full auto. And once you've got it full auto, then you don't really have to register it as an SBR. So if you wanted to register as an SBR, sure, do whatever you want. But once it's full auto, it's pretty much free game there, no problem. So how easy was it to convert this thing to full auto? It was actually auto? really difficult. So we had to make a jig because of the angles. Whoa, on the okay, all right. We'll stop it right there. Uh, don't want to get too detailed on exactly how to do it, but was it easier or no, was it? Oh, very difficult. Okay, it was very difficult. Very difficult. Uh, I would love to be able to give you more details about that, but I would also like to uh, keep my job and allow us to continue having a YouTube channel. So if you hate that, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll hear you out. You know, and I'll probably even like it and love that comment because I get it. I totally understand. But not easy to convert it over to full auto. SIG makes some fantastic products, uh, but they're not cheap. They're quite expensive and I'd say what, 80, 90% of it's all proprietary? Yeah, it's uh, very strange. I have a Virtus and uh, the, none of it really works together and it's very strange. And then they came out with the LTs and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a love-hate relationship with them for <laughs> yeah. sure. So they've got like 15 different versions of the same gun. Gen, which, Gen 4. Yeah, just do, do whatever Gen you years. want, I guess. You know, SIG's kind of in their own, the league of their own right now. So that's totally fine, but either way, a nice compact backpack gun, take it hiking with you. You never know when you're gonna run into a pack of grizzly bears or some sort of uh, a mangy group of uh, hogs or something like that. And yeah, sure, full auto is a little bit more expensive than the semi-auto. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't make any sense. If you got the money for it, then switch it over to full auto. Go, go do the dang thing and, uh, and throw some rounds down range. Does this one have any uh, hog bodies on it? No, sir. Okay, so not yet, but we'll get it christened eventually, but I can't show you that on YouTube either, but it doesn't matter. It's a lot of fun. I don't really have a bunch of details that I want to bog you down with, waste your time, okay? This is not the muzzle device it'll come with. Uh, that's, uh, I think, some some Q whatever on it. Something uh, or another. Yep, something <laughs> or other. Uh, adjustable gas block. You got two M-lock rails on each side, extremely compact and then non-ambidextrous controls, which is fine, I guess. 
uh, for all you normal people out there, but people like me, that just means whenever I run it, I gotta keep my thumb on this side uh, for the safety. But I do have the mag and bolt release on both sides. Nope, just kidding. Mag release on both sides, which is nice. Uh, but otherwise, it's just something I'm used to now, so who cares? But that's pretty much it. Stow this away in a backpack. Keep it for when you need it. Truck gun, backpack gun, whatever you wanna call it. If you think you got a better option out there, for a backpack gun, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I'd like to see some competitors to this as far as its uh, potential utility. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for shopping at Gun Mag Warehouse. Stay free.